Okay, so there's an event going on right now, apparently. That I've not been paying attention to. It's probably just a challenge. Monthly challenge thing, so. But it's on a new area by the looks of it. Perfect level playing field. Try to try out a new stage together. Interesting. So no abilities basically. Only primary ones. Okay, here we go. Let's see what this level's like. Seems very open. Also, I feel like I've seen this level before. Am I crazy? Possibly. Might be thinking of a different level that looks somewhat like this in design. It's probably made by like the same people, <laughs> which makes it harder to know what's what anymore. Or something. The new maps probably are very similar in techniques that they use. I don't know how to recover up uh, ink up here, so I shouldn't stand just wherever. So what's with all this coverage over here? It's a strange amount of it. Somebody probably got through at some point. This is a really wide map, I feel like. That area there seems good, though. If we can keep control of it. I can keep throwing my sprinkler up there. I have no idea how to control this map. It's probably good that it feels open, but I don't know what to do. Definitely something down that way, though. Like, if you can't control the top part, you probably have a lot more control of the lower area, too. It's got some decent ways around. Up and down. And all over the place. Well, that's just a shame. Whoa, calm down. Like, we can use this wall here to get back up again if we need to as well. I have no idea how this is going because it's there's so much extra ground to cover. Works for me. Like, this spot here I think is a really good wall because you can get up and around people f somewhat well. Maybe. I think we're going to lose this round. Orange is doing a really good job. Didn't get him. It's a shame. Ah, uh, we might be alright. Maybe. If we keep control for a little bit longer. Gonna jump in. Maybe get something. Maybe. Or not. There's, they're all there. I can see all four of them. That's not a good sign. Nope. I thought my team was alright, but I, I guess not. At the very end, at least. Thought they were alive. Okay. Let's go for another round. And this looks, looks like the, another new area. Or is it a... I think it might be a remake? Like a re... Yeah, I don't know. It might just be two new levels, which would be good, probably. This feels very classic feel design. But also with a bit more openness of Splatoon 3 feel. It's got this parted platforms here, which I think is good. It's fine. 
maybe <laughs> not fine anymore. I probably shouldn't be standing that close into their base though, so it's probably my fault. If you have enough speed on the, in or around like this, you could probably do a lot on this map. I feel like if you had more speed in general, we could just do some crazy things. Just everywhere. Might be to use some of this to use sprinklers a little bit. How'd that hit me from wherever that was? Who was aiming directly for me? Just gonna cover what I can. Blue's definitely gained control of the map now, so we need to push back a little bit. It's actually quite a large area because that area in the middle there is actually the middle. <laughs> I thought I was in their base, but it's just their side of the middle. So it's absolutely huge. Ah! It's fine. Throw that out there. You probably want to take the high ground, I would imagine. But it's very, probably very easy for somebody to sneak through the middle, so why? Let's try this again. One thing I like about when I have recorded uh, Splatoon battles without commentating is that I, I can like cut out the rounds that don't really work out. Although I don't normally, or haven't. I guess I haven't recorded that many without things though. Why is this area so huge? <laughs> this, is very, this is a very Splatoon 3 level. Although I guess that one ship is a pretty big level as well because it's got like pretty large base areas I guess a lot of the maps do have large areas for player bases but anyway I feel like these side areas are going to be worth a lot if you can take over your opponents because that's not really where the main focus is in a round Might try across here. Oh, there's nothing here. Interesting, so it's just like there and there and on the opposite ends. Makes sense. Might actually put this up there. Trying a better spot. Let's see how this goes for me. It's fine. Ah, that was well done. They didn't, they, they didn't doubt themselves either. They went for it. Even if I had already moved in stealth, but nope, they did it. Well played. They're running. Makes sense. Nope. Brush. Brush got me. Just gonna rush into here. Okay, good. Take the wipe out. Means we might be able to have control for a little bit. I think we're going to win because we have that side area under control currently. But if they destroy us right now, we'll be in a lot more trouble. We have two blob lovers on our side, which is interesting. I really haven't been paying attention to much of this. Haven't played enough Splatoon recently, I guess. Yeah, I think we won. It's such a big map, though. <laughs> Very nice team. Okay, back in the tower. 
wherever the heights is. Very high. Also, the crane is the cranes are very cool. It'd be especially cool if they were part of the level, and you can actually go on top of the cranes. I definitely understand why it's not a thing, though. Just gonna disappear for a second. There's a lot going on right now. I don't know how to feel about it. Come on, please. Thank you. I'll take the trade. They probably will as well. <laughs> We're in a bit of trouble here. Bit of a troubling position. Maybe I should try going a different path. Should be more aggressive or something. Nope, <laughs> come on. My aim was bad. It's the only reason I died. <laughs> I was so close though. It's right there. I had the opportunity to get them. Although sometimes my damage does, just doesn't do enough, so... It's hard to really say what I really need. Nope. That's very exposed there for me. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get a good strategy for this map. Other than just trying my best in the middle-ish. From underneath them, maybe. Hopefully. Just cover ground. Nope. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't go up. It's definitely a bad idea for me. Specifically. Although if there's any any sloshes that can play this map and get above me, they're just gonna win anything. Nope, that's not what I was trying to do. It might be good. Maybe. It's hard to say, but I think we did it, so... Maybe... Maybe... Yes, thank you! Victory! You need to really practice these stages. Okay... Let's see we go. We've got two blob blobbers again. It's also very cool seeing the gold dynamite roller as well. On the other team. Gold is cool. I wonder how much power there is in the middle of the map that nobody ever goes after. If you stealth squid a little bit, maybe. Maybe you could, like, get it, catch him off guard. Like that. If you just stand in the middle a lot. For no reason. It'd be tricky, but I think it could be a good play. In the long run, to just hold the middle. A little bit more often. You cannot see me. I'm Stealth Squid. Is that somebody or was that something else that was just rolling down? I feel like that was just somebody going across, but I really have no way of really knowing. I 
I feel like I know now, so. Getting exposed. Need to assist. No! Oh, Gold Dynamo Roller. What's it got? Oh, it's got some pretty good stuff, I guess. The stats are probably the, what's interesting about it, so. Really? <laughs> I wish I could do more damage with Blah Blah Blah. It's not gonna happen, though. Oh boy. Ooh, gonna play the risky lure. Lure, lure out the enemies. It is my role now. My role to get them out in the open. I'm surprised that worked. I should always make remember that backing up is sometimes a good idea to just get out of the, their range if you can. You don't always want to just go for it. I feel like this is a pretty good round. Even if we don't win, just win is a pretty good round. Oh, I'll take the trade. As long as I get the kill. <laughs> okay, we might be alright. I can at least do something like that here. Just a little bit of recovery. Since I wasn't really going to be able to do much if I jumped, so... Yeah, we won that. <laughs> Very nice. I'm a popular target, let's go! My perfect role of the target. Doesn't mean I'm good at game, it just means I get attacked a lot. It means I get lucky and sometimes live. That's a pretty good starting score, I guess. Oh, very interesting. A lot of gold weapons in the game now. It's very nice. I think it probably makes a lot of sense for me to hold back and just try and cover the base at the beginning of the round. I haven't done that in a little while because I haven't been playing as much, but just, yeah. <laughs> New maps are going to make me struggle a lot more, so I should probably do things that I know I can do. That area down there looks helpful, probably. Need more ink recovery. <laughs> or something. Yeah, this seems like a good spot for blob lovers, just tossing stuff in the middle. Keeping that under control. At least a little bit. And then we can also throw our uh, sprinklers up there. If we need to, although there's also a new blob lover that I haven't got yet to try. Which could be good for me, maybe. I can't remember what it has, but it had some interesting stuff. It had, um, the sub weapon is the one that you can shoot out at enemies and target them. Mark them out for the team. The, I think the special was the balloons that explode after a bit. Of so that could be good. Just need to actually try it out. Nice. Uh, this is a pretty even battle, I think, at the moment. Might be able to change that around if we get lucky enough. Just gonna take a second to try and get some coverage over there. Oop, I fell. Not ideal, but it's okay. You can get into the other po uh, opponent's base, but it will take a little bit of walking across that grating there. That's probably not going to happen too often. Which I'm okay with, because I don't like them getting to my base. It's a little bit annoying. But not really that helpful for them, so... Whenever that happens. Oh, 
Oh, he's going up. Yeah, expose yourself. Do it. Get into my fire. Got him. Just do whatever I can from here. I do like this position. I found my spot for this map. Basically. Ah, uh, we seem pretty good at the moment. Let's try and hold it a little bit more. Please. Blizz. Maybe. I think we got that. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah. Alright. Back in the ship shape cargo company. Co. This looks really cool, actually. Just looking around. Okay, I'm gonna try and cover some of this up a little bit more. Then I'm gonna go into my middle ground area. Oh boy, oh boy. It's fine. I was just a little bit surrounded by everyone. <laughs> there are orange everywhere. And there probably will be orange everywhere by the end of this round. I might actually want high ground. Just so I can paint more things. A little rude. Try and go from different angles to get them out in the open. Ooh, that was close. I'm alive though. They were right there. Nope. I was really hoping that I'd live through that. To get him from the side or something. They're doing all sorts of stuff at the moment. They're really pushing us back though. This map feels like it's really good for the base defense a little bit. But also pretty good at holding the middle if you can get it. Nope. Well, that's a shame. A real shame. I was gonna... I was gonna hope that they'll jump to it. It's <laughs> gonna farm a kill. For free if I could. Is there another one nearby? Nope. Not anywhere nearby anyway. There are some out there, but not nearby. Ow. How rude. We might better get this back, but probably not. Really? I feel like you should do more damage if you're right next to them, like in their face, but I don't know. Wow, we got destroyed. Anyway, that's probably it for now, so thank you all for watching, I'll see you all next time.